Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the Arkansas Winds Community Concert Band conducted by Michael Ferguson to perform a pre-ceremony concert for your listening pleasure.
Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2023 spring commencement of the Dale Bumpers College of Agriculture, Food, and Life Sciences. May I ask you to please silence your cell phones at this time. If medical assistance is required, emergency personnel are located on the southwest side of the arena. We're also fortunate this afternoon to have the sign language and interpreting network. They will interpret for persons with hearing impairments. Thank you. Welcome again. Enjoy the ceremony. May I ask you to uh, please stand as you are able for the singing of the national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. Graduates, parents, relative graduates and friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 Spring Commencement Ceremony of the Del Bumpers College of Agricultural, Food and Life Sciences. I'm Jeff Molone and I have the distinct privilege of serving as Interim Dean for the college. At this time, I would like for you to join me in recognizing our special guest. Uh, guests, please stand as you are introduced and please hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. Mr. Maul Harriman, Board of Trustee. Dr. Charles Robinson, Chancellor, University of Arkansas. Dr. D.Q. Fields, Vice President, University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. Dr. Lona Robertson, Associate Dean. Dr. Lisa Wood, Assistant Dean. <laughs> Dr. Jackie Mosley, Assistant Dean. And Dr. Ricardo Ekme, the recipient of uh, Outstanding Young Alumnus Award presented by Bumpers College Alumni Society Board. Ms. Samantha Carmine, Student Commencement Speaker. Mr. Fendley Raglan, President, Bumpers College Alumni Society Board. And Dr. Fiona Goggin, Professor of, in the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology and Chair of Bumpers College Faculty Council. Please join me in recognizing our stage party. Dear graduates, Bumpers College has had a long tradition of having one of its senior scholars delivering the commencement address, so I will keep my remarks today very brief. First, I want to congratulate you on your achievements and getting to the finish line. You should be extremely proud of this accomplishment. I know that for some of you, a job awaits in the coming weeks. For some, it might be um, a greatly anticipated summer break before you enter graduate or professional school. And for some of you, you might be spending the summer securing your first job. Whatever your situation, I know that Bumpers College faculty have prepared you well for the future and know that we will continue to be your cheerleaders as we celebrate your future successes. As you know, the late Senator Del Bumpers is our college namesake. And, like to, and I would like today to pass along a simple piece of advice he had for his staffers. Senator Bumpers was known for having staff meetings only when important topics need to be discussed. Staffers knew that something was up when, they, when these were called. During these meetings, the senator often reminded his team of one thing. He would say, try not too hard to win. Try not too hard to win. What he meant is that he wanted his staffers to not compromise their integrity to get a win, to treat the opposition with respect, to listen and hear the opposing argument or position, to play the long game and develop lasting relationships. This advice resonates very deeply with me and I hope it does with you as well in both your personal and professional lives. Try not too hard to win. Congratulations again. It is with much sadness that this year, we have three graduates, Natalie Ambritz, Jody Grace Price, Warren Patrick Robertson, who are being awarded their degrees posthumously. Natalie Ambritz was an animal science major. Please recognize Natalie's mother, Nadina Pabam, and Natalie's daughter, Elizabeth Jackson. On behalf of the University of Arkansas, please accept the Bachelor of Science and Arts in University Studies Posthumous Honors Causa Diploma for Natalie.
Jody Grace Price was a food, human nutrition, and hospitality major. Please recognize Jody's sister, Brooke Price, and her husband, Ali Hashmi. <laughs> On behalf of the University of Arkansas, please accept the Bachelor of Science in Human Environmental Sciences diploma for Jody. Warren Patrick Robertson was a crop science major. Please recognize Warren's father, Chris Robertson. <laughs> On behalf of the University of Arkansas, please accept the Bachelor of Science and Arts in University Studies Posthumous Honors Causa Diploma for Warren. Natalie's, Jody's, and Warren's names will be inscribed on Senior Walk along with the Class of 2023. I would now like to invite Samantha Carmine to make her address to graduates. Samantha, a first-ranked senior scholar, is a human development and family sciences major from Louisville, Texas. Samantha has served as a peer mentor for students with cognitive disabilities, as a practicum student at a pediatric hospital, an early childhood teacher at her church, and as a registered behavior technician at an autism therapy clinic. She plans to use her education ex and experiences with diverse populations to support youth development by fostering positive relationships and building healthy coping skills. Samantha. Oh, like this here. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, family, friends, faculty, and staff. But most importantly, welcome Dale Bumper's graduating class of 2023. <laughs> First, I would like to say what an honor it is to stand up here and speak on behalf of a group of such hardworking and well-accomplished individuals. It is truly a sobering feeling to have finally reached this day and to be up here. So thank you for the privilege, the opportunity, and perhaps now I should say the challenge to provide all of you, my fellow graduates, with several reflections on the last few years, on the moment at hand, and on the moment to come. Graduates, we're here. You did it, and you should be so proud of yourselves. Today marks a significant milestone in your life, and I want to congratulate you all for reaching this point. As we reflect on our time here at the University of Arkansas, while also looking ahead to the next season of life, I want to share with you all some thoughts on a few values that have been very important to our time here and that will continue to serve a great purpose moving forward. Throughout our academic journey, we have learned many things, but there's a lesson that should not be overlooked, and that is the value of relationships. At some point in your time here, you've probably had some hard and defeating moments. We've all been in a position like our quarterback, KJ Jefferson, where the goal line is right in front of you, and all you have to do is just reach over to take the lead. We have all been second and goal at the five yard line against the Aggies, and with all the confidence in the world, you jumped right over the whole D-line, but just couldn't finish the goal and fumbled the ball. And although the other team went on to recover the ball for a 97 yard touchdown, and the Razorbacks did not finish, win that game against the Aggies, our quarterback, KJ Jefferson, with the support of his team, continued to get back out there and finish the season with a bowl win. Now, for some of you guys, you guys, that probably made no sense, but for those of you who, like me, hate losing to the Aggies, you probably think about that moment a little too often. The point is, if we, if we reflect on those times, we can probably recall having at least one person that helped us in those defeating moments to get back on our feet and celebrate the next victory. 
So, I encourage you all to look around at the people beside you, in the crowd, or even the people on the stage, and consider those who have inspired you and empowered you to get to where you are today. These are the people that have and will continue to support you in times of need and celebrate your successes. Cherish those people, nurture those relationships, and take the time to show appreciation for them. Alongside the value of relationships is the power of community. In some way, here at the University of Arkansas, we have found ourselves a part of a group that has given us a space for support, collaboration, and belonging. Many of us have found these groups on campus through clubs, Greek life, classes, dorms, Dale bumpers. Building a sense of community will be essential wherever you go. Whether it's your workplace, a new city, your neighborhood, or your social group. Take the initiative to create a welcoming and inclusive environment. Reach out to people, listen to their stories, and I can't stress that enough, really listen. We long to be heard and known, and as cheesy as it may sound, we can all learn a lot from each other. Last but certainly not least, I want to emphasize the importance of showing kindness. We've had a lot to celebrate over the last couple years, but there's also been a lot to keep us stressed and anxious. I think in those times, it is the acts of kindness from, towards one another that have kept us going. It was the person who had an extra pencil and scantron when you somehow forgot there was a test that day. It's the upperclassmen that pointed you where to go as you frantically looked around campus on your first day of college. It's your roommate who made you a card and surprised you with ice cream when you finally got accepted to the internship you wanted. Now, I know this is no revelation or profound wisdom, but I think simple acts of kindness like a smile, a compliment, or even holding the door for someone can make a world of a difference. So, as you go forth into the world, I encourage you to show kindness wherever you go. You never know whose life you will impact. Now, as I wrap up this speech, I'd like to take the time to say a few thank yous. I want to thank the University of Arkansas community for all that you have done for me. To the faculty and staff of Bumpers College, thank you for your passion in supporting us students and for creating a welcoming environment. You guys are truly one big family. I want to give a special shout out to my advisor, Don A. Timby. Thank you for going above and beyond for your students, and thank you for giving me the confidence to believe in myself. To my family, <laughs> thank you for always loving and supporting me. You guys have made me more patient, more kind, and certainly more humble. <laughs> and finally, to all of you, thank you for all the wonderful memories made here. I will take them with me forever. You guys have taught me so much, and I'm a better person because of you all. Thank you for loving me so well. The relationships formed here will forever be cherished. Almost done, I promise. All right, before we get into the excitement of this day, I want us all to take a deep breath. I want you to take a moment to recognize all the hard work over the last few years that have led you to this moment. Think about the people that have helped you get here and be grateful. You guys have accomplished so much and you really should be so proud of yourselves. I can't wait to see all the great things that you all will do. Congratulations and go Hogs. Samantha, thank you again for your inspiring commencement address. Graduates, parents, and family, this is the moment you have waited for, the symbolic presentation of the diploma. Graduates, today is a celebration for you, but we also want to recognize parents, relatives, and friends for the encouragements, investment, and sacrifices they have made for you. So families and friends, feel free to make some noise as graduates cross the stage. To make the moment special for all of our graduates and their families, we ask that you do not leave the arena until all graduates have crossed the stage 
and receive their diploma covers. Once graduates cross the stage, they will have one additional photo taken and will then return to their seats. Graduates, please also note that you will receive your actual diploma in, in a few weeks by mail after a certification that you, that you have completed all degree requirements. So on behalf of the talented faculty of the Del Bumpers College of Agricultural Food and Life Sciences, it is my immense pleasure to present the class of 2023. Now joining, us, now joining us on stage is Dr. John Anderson, escorting students from the Department of Agricultural Economics and Agribusiness. Now presenting the student majoring in agricultural business. Quinn Addington. Cooper Anderley. Mills Bethay. Benjamin Campbell. Andrew Ryland Davis. Robert Brendan Davis. Taylor Davis, highest distinction. Walker Noel Davis. Laney Driver. Distinction. Mary Elizabeth Eichenberger, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Taylor Elliott. Darby Fields. Sierra Gabriela Flores. Herschel Friday, distinction. Anthony Patrick Gatti, highest distinction. Jacob Growl. Nicolette Graves, distinction. Lawrence Wade Harrison IV. Garrett Hart, high distinction. Chandler Holcomb, high distinction. Connor Hutto. Jory King. August Benton Ladd. Byron Christopher Luke, graduating summa cum laude with honors distinction, 
Byron is accompanied by Byron his Luke, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Accompanied by his mentor, Michael Poff. William McAllister. Colin. Colin McKenzie. Dr. Mc Andrew McKenzie will present the diploma to his son, Colin Douglas McKenzie. Samuel Elliott Morey. <laughs> Rebecca Rose O'Neill. High distinction. Michael Parker, distinction. Alexandra Cole Pittman, high distinction. Mays Rogers Porter. Griffin S. Pryor. Isla Rakes, distinction. Keaton Thomas Robinson. Tate Neely Rogers. Jordan Israel Rosenblum. Connor Sag, distinction. Joseph Schroeder, high distinction. Mary Agnes Shields. Shaylee Smithson, distinction. Dylan Steimel. Dustin Stevens. Alex Stewart. Blake Andrew Titus, distinction. Winsley Ann Brothers, distinction. Now joining us on the stage is Dr. George Wardlow, escorting students from the Department of Agricultural Education, Communications and Technology. Presley Faith Hargrove. Julie Isbell, highest distinction. Colin Cady, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Colin is accompanied by his mentor, Dr. Joe Rucker. Nelson Pierce. Daniel A. Rivas. Grace Thompson. Tanner Whips. Marshall Hernandez. Now joining us on the stage is Dr. Michael Luper, escorting students from the Department of Animal Science. Now presenting the students majoring in animal science. Astrid Adrian, cum laude with honors distinction. 
Walker Antilla. Jacob Bliss. Casey Captain. Kaysen Kathy. McLean Coleman. Alexandria Kolauer. Timothy Carter Culp. Elena DeWitt, high distinction. Sydney Douglas, distinction. Jacqueline Estudiante, distinction. Dylan John Ferguson. Ashley Gall. Keely Harrelson. Stephen Ingalls. Kyler Keener. Distinction. Max King. Cambry Elizabeth Kinney. Abigail Lampro. High distinction. Jonathan Braden Leonard. High distinction. Ashley Nicole Liberto, distinction. Jordan Taylor Looper, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Jordan is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Kelly Virick. Dr. Mike Looper will present the diploma to his daughter, Jordan. Aaron Mattingly, distinction. Ryan Taylor McDuffie. Madison Parrish. Audrey Francis Peterson, distinction. Carson Keith Phillips. Cole Justin Rector, highest distinction. Grayson Robbins, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Grayson is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Lauren Thomas. Olivia Grace Rothgeb, distinction. Kelsey K. Russell. Megan Satras, high distinction. Riley Ann Simpson. Haley Stanton, summa cum laude, with honors distinction. Haley is accompanied by Ms. Isabel Whitehead 
and was mentored by Dr. Ashley Dowling. Mary Claire Stewart, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Christopher Moore Tarkington, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Kate Watts, high distinction. Kylie Brianne Weir. Clayton Weil, cum laude with honors distinction. Clayton is accompanied by his mentor, Dr. Michael Pop. Hannah Wright, high distinction. Colton B. Dale, distinction. Now joining us on stage is Dr. Jeff Edwards, escorting students from the Department of Crops, Soil, and Environmental Sciences. Now presenting the students majoring in crop science. Karina Brockwell. <laughs> Peter James Gaccioni, Jr. Tina Luann Drummond Hart. Trevor McLean. Now presenting Crop, Soil, and Environmental Sciences students, majoring in Environmental Soil and Water Science. Colette Ackley, distinction. Christopher Bullock. Lauren Elizabeth Demolade. Distinction. Caden T. Folks. Olivia Catherine Franks Perry. Lauren Galtney, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Lauren is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Lisa Wood. Kaylin Haley. Mackenzie Moore, distinction. Rosemary Murphy. Agatona Pineda. Willem Rios. Micah Dow Warner, distinction. Mark Zeminski. Now joining us on stage is Dr. J.M. Sabaya, escorting students from the Department of Food Science. Now presenting students majoring in food science. China Bass. Taylor John Brandt, high distinction. Taylor Elizabeth Clary, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Taylor is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Ali Ubigatolari. Brittany K. Del Castillo. K. 
Caitlin Hope. Caitlin Krabs. Elise Leal. Scott Meneman. Distinction. Samantha B. Mills. Aaron Wynn, cum laude, with honors distinction. Ty Happy Nguyen. Justin Seppi. Jessica Williams, magna cum laude, with honors distinction. Jessica is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Han Suk So. Now joining us on stage is Dr. Wayne McKay, escorting students from the Department of Horticulture. Now presenting the students majoring in Horticulture, Landscape, and Turf Sciences. Zachary Arland Bradley. Vivian Ruth Brentley, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Vivian is accompanied by her mentors, Dr. Lisa Wood and Ms. Isabel Whitehead. Hannah Callicott. Ryan Conklin, distinction. Gavin Gardner Knight. Joanna Esmeralda Gonzalez. William Green, distinction. Bailey Carnes, highest distinction. Caleb Lathram. Derek Olsbo, high distinction. Isabella Vaughn, highest distinction. Dr. Jason Norsworthy will present the diploma to his daughter, Isabella Norsworthy Vaughn. Madison Wallen. Sierra Wheeler. Brandon White. River Clay Dean, highest distinction. Now joining us on stage is Dr. David Caldwell, escorting students from the Department of Poultry Science. Now presenting the students majoring in poultry science. Catherine Louise Anderson. Amanda Page Anthony, high distinction. Caitlin Clark, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Caitlin is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Gisela Erf. Seth Hollifield. Peyton McGinnis. Jennifer Vanessa Rivera Posadas. Distinction. 
Alessandro Rocchi, summa cum laude, with honors distinction. Alessandro is accompanied by his mentor, Dr. Gisela Erb. Kylie Ressler, highest distinction. Chloe Ann Smith, highest distinction. Parker Olivia Wildermuth, distinction. Now joining us on stage is Dr. Donna Graham, escorting students from the School of Human Environmental Sciences. Now presenting the students majoring, majoring in apparel merchandising and product development. Raquel Adams. Yeah. Ashley Andrus. Magna Cum Laude with Honors Distinction. Ashley is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Lance Cherime. Lily Bailey, High Distinction. Elizabeth Bauer, High Distinction. Sarah Bay Blumenthal. Tessa Christy Boone. Hallie Bray. Josie Brown, distinction. Sydney Morgan Burton. McLean Cadenhead. Maria del Cielo Cervantes Gomez, cum laude with honors distinction. Maria is accompanied by her mentor, Ms. Stephanie Hubert. Madison Dobbs. Kaylin Brooke Dombrowski, highest distinction. Matthew Ryan Dunn. Josie Edwards, distinction. Sophie Francis Edwards. Riley Fulmer, high distinction. Noah Galster, high distinction. Grace Catherine Gatewood. Victoria Ann Gibbs. Ava Claire Graves, high distinction. Emma Lynn Gunther, distinction. Abril Macarena Guerra Sandoval. Maggie Annalise Haas, high distinction. Emma Victoria Hernandez, highest distinction. Alexa James, distinction. Lauren Brooke Jenkins. Grace Kemp. Taylor Grace Kimbrell, distinction. Natalie Knapp, 
Summa Cum Laude with Honors Distinction. Natalie is accompanied by her mentor, Ms. Stephanie Hubert. Mackenzie Lee Knight. Lene Koningsman. Sarah Catherine Cobb. Caitlin Curtenbaugh. Shelby Marie Lynch. Lily Martin, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Lily is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Lori Apple. Paige Nicole Matthews, distinction. Landry Miller. Margaret Ann Miller. Distinction. Haley Elaine Naylor. Distinction. Maria Nicole Popalexis. Distinction. Ella Payton. Mary Claire Payne, distinction. Calvin Phillips. Megan Pigeon, distinction. Brina Renee Porcarello. Morgan Lane Richards. Yeah! Go, 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 go! Hannah Shaley, highest distinction. Simeon Smith, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Simeon is accompanied by his mentor, Ms. Stephanie Hubert. Emily Grant Staples, high distinction. Avery Strenfel, distinction. Madison Swanson. Tatum Savannah Vineyard, distinction. Lauren Wedby. Ashlyn Whitfield, distinction. Kenzie Wienold, distinction. Logan Wilson. Brian Packen. Madison Elizabeth Doyle. High distinction. Now presenting human environmental sciences students majoring in birth through kindergarten. Emma Gooding. Highest distinction. Madison Elizabeth Hill. Highest distinction. Ellen Margaret Matthews, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Ellen is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Laura Harold. Shelby Pianalto, highest distinction. Hallie Shaw Williams, high distinction. Next, presenting Human Environmental Sciences students majoring in food, nutrition, and health. 
Cecilia Azar, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Cecilia is accompanied by her mentor, Ms. Nancy Buckley. Lillian Davis, distinction. Mia Engelbrecht, distinction. Maggie Elizabeth Ezel. Camry Ann Georgia. Hannah Elizabeth Lane, high distinction. Marcus Logan Jr., distinction. Natalie McGehee. Jory Siebold. Aiden Smith. Danny Wyatt, distinction. Next, presenting human environmental sciences students majoring in hospitality management. Lewis Carson. Olivia Clark. Mary Darren. Alexa Everett, distinction. Jonathan Fisher. Maricela Herver, distinction. Kara Sullivan Kane, high distinction. Lauren Kem, distinction. Aaron Land. Natalie Meacham. Maggie Faith Roach. Caroline Ross. Margaret Louise Rosser. Distinction. Callan Elizabeth Ray Seal. Distinction. Rebecca Monroe Sutton. Carolee Ann Tavis. Magna cum laude with honors distinction. Carolyn Lee is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Kerry we Kelly Way. <laughs> Chase Webb, high distinction. Zachary Williams, cum laude with honors distinction. Cameron Winfrey, distinction. <laughs> Lindsay Kate Winters, high distinction. Dr. Barry Bryan will present the diploma to his niece, Lindsay Kate Winters. Now presenting human environmental sciences students majoring in human development and family sciences. Darcy Bien, high distinction. Olivia Hope Boshears, distinction. Emma Caroline Brinkmeyer, highest distinction. Avery Elizabeth Bird. 
Samantha Rose Carmine. Highest distinction. Sally Clemens. Distinction. Leanna Noel Cobb. Dorothy Claire Cooper. Highest distinction. Madison Kurgis, distinction. Elizabeth Elizondo. Bailey Etchison, high distinction. Elizabeth Gamboa. Elizabeth is escorted by Dr. Laura Harold. Heidi Marie Jensen, highest distinction. Haley Burton Johnson. Jordan Bailey Knight. Camille Lindholm, highest distinction. Martha Keith McCormick, distinction. Emily Miller, highest distinction. Sabin Moore, high distinction. Kindle Norris, distinction. Julianne Post, highest distinction. Keely Bryn Robertson. Abigail Rogers. Carolyn Sherlock, high distinction. Cecilia Streif. Amanda Marie Swartz, summa cum laude, with honors distinction. Amanda is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Jacqueline Mosley. Alexis Thrower, distinction. Isabella Claire Vaughn. Ashlyn K. Walker, magna cum laude with honors distinction. Ashlyn is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Jennifer Becknell. Elena Hallam Williams. Kaylee Hunter Williams. Eileen Alejandra Zapeta, distinction. Now presenting human environmental sciences students majoring in human nutrition and dietetics. Warenesha Arnold, cum laude with honors distinction. Warenesha is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Jenny Pop. Eleonora Bosch, high distinction. Sydney Beaudry, summa cum laude with honors distinction. Sydney is accompanied by her mentor, Dr. Aubrey Hawley. Lexi Caldwell, high distinction. Mary Elizabeth Enscove, distinction. 
Jordan Fur. Distinction. Annie Hessing. Highest distinction. Lane Marissa Hoshield. High distinction. Samantha Tomiko Ito. Distinction. Grace Jones. Helena Lewis. Katie Morrow, highest distinction. New Nguyen, distinction. Zoe Patton. Liza Reynolds. Nayeli Lisette Solis, distinction. Emily Page Tubbs, high distinction. Parker Nicole Ward. Eldita Janelle Wood, distinction. Lauren Woody. Sydney Michelle Woody, distinction. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Goggin for sure for uh, handing out about 300 of those uh, things. Uh, thank you, Fiona. Uh, but also Dr. Robertson, Dr. Wardlow, Dr. Wood for your assistant, uh, assistance today. Uh, I'd like to uh, take a moment to thank some of the people who helped me uh, today, special, and who made this uh, a great year for Bumpers College. First, I'd like to ask the faculty of Bumpers College to stand and be recognized. Well done. I would also like to thank our graduating student ambassadors for their outstanding service to Bumpers College, Katie Hope, Peyton McGuinness and Haley Stanton. Thank you to the Arkansas Winds uh, for the entertainment today. And now I'd like to invite Fenley Radlin to, uh, uh, to the podium. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Bumpers College Alumni Association, I'd like to introduce Dr. Um, Ricardo Egme as the 2023 recipient of the Bumpers College Young Alumnus Award. Dr. Egme earned his master's degree in 2008 and doctoral degree in 2011 in poultry science from the Bumpers College. Currently, he is the Senior Vice President of Nutrition and Product Development for RBM Inc. in Durham, North Carolina. Dr. Ekme is also an adjunct assistant professor at the University of Arkansas. Dr. Ekme, please come forward to welcome our graduates to the Arkansas Alumni Association. Very good. Well, let me start off by congratulating you, the class of 2023. Um, 
I have the tremendous privilege of standing here as this year's Bumpers College Ascending Young Alumnus. You are about to join a community of more than 170,000 living Arkansas alumni. You will forever be a Razorback, so wear it well. Having been in the exciting position you are in now, I'd like to very briefly share with you two lessons that have served me well since leaving the Hill. It may sound like advice you hear going into college, but I think it's crucial you hear it again as you begin your careers because it's very easy to look past it. First, pursue your passion, but don't insulate yourself in it. For many of us, we want to be the best at something. We want to be the best botanist, the best animal scientist, the best food scientist, the best ag economist, and so on. There's a quote often attributed to Charles Bukowski that I have always kept a finger on. Paraphrased, the idea is to find what you love and let it consume you. Let it drain from you your all, let it cling onto your back and weigh you down into eventual nothingness. For all things will consume you, both slowly and fastly, but it's much better to be consumed by a lover. It's a great sentiment to devote yourself to the thing you love. But the key question is how to best realize that pursuit. Hearing that quote, our minds immediately jump to Tiger Woodsing our way to being the best. We have to eat, sleep, and drink our passions from the moment we're born. And it's further ingrained in us uh, with the 10,000 hour rule. That's how we're supposed to master a domain. The fallacy is in thinking that our lives and careers can be distilled into a singular rehearsed activity. Our lives are not a 12 foot putt. The truth is you will be pushing into uncharted territory and we want you pushing into uncharted territory. And the best practices of the past may no longer serve you in unexplored domains. What you will draw on are parallels to other aspects of your life. So make the other aspects of your life as rich as possible. One thing that always stuck with me was something one of my professors uh, said as I pursued my PhD. You are being trained as a scientist, but the degree you will get will be a doctorate of philosophy. There's a certain creativity that, that is needed to excel in your field. So the best version of you is realized when it can pull from diverse experiences and ways of thinking. They will ultimately be what allows you to succeed. The second lesson, be generous. If the last few years have taught us anything, it is that the world could benefit from a little more generosity. So be generous with time, be generous with resources, be generous with grace, and be generous with forgiveness. Find ways to be involved in your community. It becomes easy to focus on your career and your family, but it's critical for you to get out there and care for those around you. This is also critical for achieving that first lesson. When you inevitably look back on your life and career, what impact would you have liked to have made? To have made a lot of money? To borrow from the movie Citizen Kane, it's no trick to make a lot of money if all you want is to make a lot of money. The best version of yourself is one that is generous, one that opens doors for those around you and for those that come after you. And in short, one that embodies the Arkansas Razorback spirit. I would encourage you to stay connected with your Ar University of Arkansas family here on campus and around the world. I'm told that to help maintain your connections and grow your network, the Arkansas Alumni Association is gifting you with a one-year complimentary membership. So as you leave today, be sure to stop by the association table at the back of the arena to receive an alumni decal and more information about your membership. Your name will soon be engraved on this campus. Cherish your name on Senior Walk and know you're a part of a unique tradition. I'm looking forward to reading of your many accomplishments to come and seeing where else in the world you will leave your imprint on. Congratulations again, alumni. Thank you, and Wu Pek Sui. Graduates, will you please stand?
as candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Food and Life Sciences and Bachelor of Science in Human Environmental Sciences. Upon successful completion of all degree requirements, we are pleased to confer your degree upon you on behalf of the University of Arkansas Board of Trustees. I hereby confer upon each of you the degree indicated on your diploma with all the rights, privileges, and uh, responsibilities pertaining thereto. Graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left, symbolizing your status as an alumni. Congratulations. <laughs> Parents, would you, uh, uh, and family members, would you please stand to be recognized? We now ask that you remain standing as you are able for the singing of the alma mater. Graduates, I now have um, instructions. You will be directed through the recessional line. Uh, please remain standing at your seats until your row is directed to exit. And finally, our ceremony is going to conclude with Ricardo and Fenley leading us in calling the hogs. <laughs> 